by yourself or with friends. Oh, look at that. That's money. Wow. For all your energy innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Horizon 4. So we're heading over to uh, see what uh, this man is doing up in this parking lot. But today we are going to try and do something that I am not all too familiar with that we are going to try and tackle for today. Uh, I can guarantee you this is probably going to be a lot of understeer. This is probably going to be a, uh, a very interesting day um, because we are going to try to do something that I am not too, too familiar with. Uh, we are gonna hop over into the city area, and then uh, I believe we have a couple wheel spins to do, and then we are going to uh, get into this, seeing if I can tackle this monster and have a little fun with it. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, that is all wheel drive, on pavement, a lot of power. We were breaking out the Hoonicorn, so, all-wheel drive drifting, if you guys follow the channel, is not something I'm really too familiar with. So, it's definitely something that I'm going to want to uh, try and get better at. Got some daily payouts that we're going to take. But we got some, uh, got four wheel spins to start this episode off. But I'm going to be busting out the Hoonicorn, ripping through the city, having a little fun with it, trying to see what I can do in it. Uh, like I said, all-wheel drive drifting is not something I'm, uh, all too familiar with because of the fact that I'm so used to throwing so much counter steer, I end up countering too much and end up spinning myself out. We're not really getting anything on these wheel spins, but we are here, gonna mess around with the Hoonicorn in the city. Oh man, retro abstract leggings, that's what I needed. So we are on our Logitech G920 with our Energy Innovations 350 millimeter rim, hydraulic cam brake, sequential shifter, which is perfect because we are in the Hoonicorn. And uh, 40 grand, so we did not get much of anything with that. So we're going to hop into the Hoonicorn. I know a lot of people already have it, but I decided just to buy it recently because, uh, well, I didn't have it, and uh, I wanted to get it. So for all of you guys who, you know, are really good at all-wheel drive drifting, you know, it, it's it's definitely a, uh, a different demographic than what I'm used to because, because you know, the uh, the ability of not really having a counter steer is really different to me. This car is definitely a monster. Ooh, belching flames right out the hood. So we're gonna try and have a little fun with this. Can't guarantee that it's gonna look really any good. But we're definitely gonna try and not hit walls like that. We're definitely gonna give it a try try our best to slay some tires in this unicorn on a wheel I know what a lot of people are probably saying they're probably all like man it's probably easiest to drift you know the unicorn with all that power and all that all-wheel drive because you don't really spin out too easy but you know what it's actually kind of a challenge I think on a wheel Ooh! to uh, figure out exactly where to point it, where to go. I know Ken Block does it all the time, but you know, I am not Ken Block. I am Evil Rabbit, and uh, wheel drive drifting is my thing. But we seem to be getting, oh, as I say that, we go right into some dude's front. Seem to be uh, not doing too bad if you guys have this car and uh, are really good at getting this thing sideways and basically hooning it up Gymkhana style. Let me know down in the comments if you guys modify the tune some or if you just left it. I do love how much power this thing has though. My phone is blowing up right now. I think we should probably silence that. 
There we go. Quick silence on the phone. So, like I said, all the drive drifting or power sliding, Gymkhana style. Definitely not an easy thing if you're not used to it. Like there, I threw the car like it was should have been a rear wheel drive, but. Surprisingly, this thing handles somewhat like a rear wheel drive car. I'm actually very surprised. I know this is pro the first time I bring the Unicorn out in Horizon 4, and it's probably really late because a lot of people already probably have this car out and have done a lot of things with it. But you know what? I'm usually late to the party sometimes. I like to be my own thing. Don't like to follow the trends too much. This car is a handful. Jeez, oh man. I wonder if maybe first person would help. Curb check. It gets a lot quieter when you're in first person. You would think it would have gotten louder, but... There we go. There we go. That's better. Oh, I should have downshifted and got back on the gas. Stalled the car. So maybe if I want to do all-wheel drive drifting, maybe I really need to be in cockpit view because seem to be uh, handling this car a little bit better in first person. Then again, a lot of people say you drift better in first person. And a lot of people always ask, why I play in third person? Ugh. When I'm on a wheel. Well... Because, I don't know. Does this look more entertaining to you? Watching it this way? Or, uh, watching it this way? I personally would rather watch it in third person, but this car is just insane. We didn't find this road yet, so we're gonna go back. But I was having a little bit of fun in first person. Ooh, I thought we were gonna test the wall. Ooh. So, a bit of a different pace here today on the channel. A little bit of a hooning in the unicorn. Oh god. You didn't need that that box, right? So, one thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about battling on torque drift. Well, tonight will be the night. Tonight is the night I will be going live on YouTube and uh, or on Twitch, probably YouTube though, and I will be broadcasting um, battle codes for private events to be able to get some tandems and torque drift. So you guys want to uh, get online with me in the channel, get some tandems on the channel in torque drift, be a part of it. Make sure you tune it in tonight. Um, I'd say probably around uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock Eastern time is about where I will be on. I will be on for probably about two hours or so. But uh, in that time frame, There'll be plenty of time to get battles in with me on the channel. Okay, we can we can go this way. Oh, ow. Sorry, Ken. It's okay, don't worry. You got your new Huna truck. You don't need this unicorn anymore. Which I'm super excited to have the unicorn come unicorn truck. Huna truck coming out. You know we'll be ripping that thing through the streets as well. Ouch. So, that kind of hurt. So, we're going to go back into third person. So, one thing I will never do in an all-wheel drive car. Because I know a lot of people do it. And, you know, to each their own. Ow. To each their own, you know, it's... I will never do drift zones in an all-wheel drive car. Especially not a car with this power because... I mean, yeah, if you can get a high score in this car on drift zones, more power to you. Because this is, uh... This is not an easy feat for me. So, we're going from this, struggling to uh, control the car, and uh, getting used to the steering acriments and everything that I need to be doing in an all-wheel drive car. Now let's flip the let's flip the bit, head to my rear-wheel drive car, which I'm comfortable with, and see the difference in driving. So all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive drifting is uh, not a uh, not my forte, but something I am. Having a lot of fun with doing recently. And then we go to this. Of course, this car does not have as much power as a unicorn. But, as you can see, I'm a lot more comfortable when it comes to uh, 
rear wheel drive and slide in a rear wheel drive car. Ooh, little, uh, little rear wheel hop there. Then I am all wheel drive. So, I know there's probably going to be some hate comments saying, oh, you can't drive the Hoonicorn, you know, what are you doing? You can't drive all-wheel drive, but you know what? That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm a big boy. I can take it. But I just enjoy rear-wheel drive a lot more than all-wheel drive. No, uh, no bad thing to anybody who enjoys all-wheel drive better. It's just, to me, being able to just rip a rear-wheel drive car through the streets... And just have the freedom. Ooh, almost knocked that burger sign down. To me, this is just that much more fun. I've been doing this a little bit, taking different cars into the street, and just uh, basically having a little freestyle session in the streets of Edinburgh. And uh, as you can see, I'm a little bit more comfortable in a real drive cars. I just take out somebody's bike. I'm a little bit more comfortable in a real drive car. Obviously, this car handles super well, and I do enjoy this car a lot. And it's just sometimes fun to just do a little freestyle and uh, just have a little laid back freestyle drift session in the city by yourself or with friends. Oh, look at that. That's money. Wow. All right, that was sweet. So, I say I'm having a little fun freestyling, and I'm just here just ripping the streets now. Just tossing my NRG wheel around and, you know, just you know doing what I need to do to have fun in this car. We're going to miss that. No, oh, just tap. Just throwing this car in, in the streets here. So as you can see, rear wheel drive. Definitely my forte. How long are we gonna make that? That was a really, that would have been, that would have been super awesome if I could have nailed that horribly long e-brake grab. So as you can see, all wheel drive, not so good compared to rear wheel drive. But let's switch it up to maybe a little less powerful all-wheel drive car. Let's see, maybe if I can handle a little bit less of an all-wheel drive car. A little less power, but still a nice car. So, like I said, let me know down in the comment section down below, which do you prefer, rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? I prefer to have audio. Thank you. Get wrecked. So, like I said, if you guys want to be a part of the channel tonight and you do have car trips and you guys want to uh, get a little uh, tandem session with me tonight, make sure you come back to the channel tonight and uh, have your phone charged and your torque drift open because uh, we'll be doing some live tandem battles here on the channel and not smacking the walls, hopefully. We'll be doing some live tandem battles here on the channel. Definitely going to be super exciting to uh, get a chance to uh, tandem with some of you guys and have a little fun, have a little uh, chat session going on in the chat and everything like that. So if you don't have Torch Drift, but you still want to come hang out, make sure you guys check back to the channel two nights for the live Torch Drift tandem session with subs. So. This car does not have enough power to do what I want to do. So we are going to go back into the Hoonicorn and see if we can't maybe end this episode off on a high note. Uh, didn't turn out as good as I had hoped when it comes to uh, all-wheel drive, but rear-wheel drive, as you saw, was able to just shred it through the city, have a lot of fun. If you guys haven't done that, do it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I would like to get a bunch of friends and just do some... Uh, basically follow the leader through the city drift style and uh have a little fun with that i think i think what i'm doing is i think i'm pulling the e-brake too much 
in this car. I think I need to more work on just clutch kicks. There we go. A little less on the e-brake, more on the brakes. I thought I was gonna go that way. More on the brakes and the clutch kicking. Ooh. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't had this car yet. Because this car is a lot of fun. This car is definitely a monster and a half in Forza 7 and in Horizon 4. I don't think it was this hard to control in Horizon 3, but then again, I could have been wrong. That's better. There we go. Oh, no, no. As I say that, we lose control of it. So, as you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll let you follow in the description box below. If I have not gotten to your comments, I do apologize. I try to respond to every single comment that I can get to. Um, so, bear with me. There's a lot more comments coming through, which I do appreciate all the comments that are coming through. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. Unless, because that's the only way to interact other than when I'm doing live streams. There we go. We'll all drive donuts. So, I think we're going to end this episode off here today. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Hope you guys come back for the live stream tonight on Torque Drift. And, uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And, uh, definitely out. <laughs> eh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, that's your zone. Yep, yep, we're out. <laughs>